Nagaland Chief Minister Nipurio and the Commanding Officer of the Eastern Command, Lieutenant General Rana Pratap Kalita, inaugurated the guest house of the Old Boys Association of Sainik School at the DC complex in Chumukedima on December 6. Speaking as the chief host of the event during the program, Rio encouraged the gathering to serve the country and the state diligently. He also urged the association to try setting up a convention center for national and regional meetings. Lieutenant General Rana Pratap, the guest of honor of the event, said the creation of the facility is a testament to the enduring legacy of the alumni's commitment to give back to the Elma matter. Let's have a look at the report. Indeed, it is a very happy occasion to be coming together a reunion after a very, very long time. And in occasion like this, or when you meet your old friends, sometimes you cannot recognize them 30, 40 years after. But it is so pleasant to meet our old boys. And today, what a joy, what an occasion in inaugurating the old boys guest house by our dear General Kalita. Well, this construction was initially thought to be in Sainik School, Polwa, because the parents, the visitors who come, the guests who come, it is difficult also for them, because not like our days. Our days we were too far away from home. We only get partials. So, I'm extremely happy that General Kalida has come and opened our guest house. And I hope we will all make good use of this building. Anything more to be done, we will work it out. And uh, you see, it's a little, getting a little congested. We are trying to set up a kind of a convention center where you can host regional uh, meetings or national meetings and this district is going to be uh, education district and also sports district we're going to host northeast olympic we are also we have already taken decision. We have not formally did the bidding of national games to be played in Nagaland. That's how we are promoting building infrastructures. Now we can bid, we can get, but my worry is medal hope. If we host and if we don't get medals, it will be very embarrassing. That's why we are watching, promoting our youth, our athletics. If we are in a position to win some medals, definitely we would like to host. Because our neighbors, they have done 
they already had hosted and they gaining a lot of medals particularly Manipur Assam and of course we also gaining but we have not come to the benchmark and therefore all boys working with the new boys together that us build our state a vibrant state and progressive state so that we don't uh, remain to be a liability but we become a contributor in nation building thank you and god bless the old boys of sainik schools which have gathered here today as also the young cadets from sainik school pongla friends from the media ladies and gentlemen i am thankful to god and to the honorable cm and the old boys association of sainik school nagaland to have given me this honor to be present here amongst the wall and to inaugurate the guest house that has been made by the sainik school association here it's a great honor for me and thank you for for bestowing such honor on me uh, i think the sentiments of being an old boy of sainik school and what remembrance we still carry have been summed up beautifully by the honorable chief minister during his speech uh, the only thing difference uh, which i would like to state that firstly i was not a naughty boy and like the probably the cm and i didn't know that you have to be a naughty boy to become cm five times in a state <laughs> if i had known that i would have probably be, be a, been a naughty boy <laughs> Uh, as also i think we should not call ourselves old we should call ourselves as boys i think it's good to call each other boys i think that's how we should address each other uh, at least it boosts up our ego when we are crossing that age of 60 and going towards going further in our in our life so it's good to call ourselves old boys at least you feel younger I think the step taken by the Old Boys Association of Sainik Schools here in Nagaland uh, to establish a guest house in the extremely approachable place in Chumukdima in Dimapur has been a very good step, which need to be emulated by all other Sainik Schools Association of the other states as well. And I think uh, we all have heard that credit for this incredible step goes to the Honourable Chief Minister. and we are grateful to uh, to you for having shown us this way and the path for the other associations as well the history of the sainik school association here as also how the guest house has come about has been spoken by the president mr kire as also the honorable cm so i'm not going to repeat those but a uh, couple of things which i would like to share in front of this august audience and of course it also gives me immense pleasure to find some of my familiar faces from my school here including my seniors and some of my classmates who managed to be here today thank you very much for being here and representing the school along with me i think that that's the reason why all these sainik schools all over the country has groomed so many leaders the president has narrated the names of the people from nagaland who studied in sainik school and who grew up in their respective professions of course led by the honorable chief minister even in the other professions we had the names of the people who have done extremely well and similarly we have seen students from sainik school doing extremely well in armed forces as well there has been number of officers who have risen up to the ranks of generals who belong to sainik school who studied in sainik schools and even in other fields also people have done well i think it is because of the sense of commitment the discipline and the desire to excel which is ingrained in us 
in our school days which enable us and which empower us to achieve the goals and objectives that we set for ourselves and i think that goes for the young boys sitting here today in uniform you are the future you have to take on this mantle we all have passed that stage you know you are the future of the state you are the future of the country you have to grow up and try and contribute towards nation building you all are aware that senic schools were established as a primary feeder institutions for the armed forces so your primary aim i would advise should still be to join forces with girls having come into senic school and also we having number of women officers who are doing exceedingly well in various field wherever they are deployed in the armed forces we want more boys and girls of the northeast and nagaland to join the armed forces and excel to become a successful army navy or air force officer but for that the first thing what you need to do is to set your goal and then you have to work hard let us all come together and remember the pledge which we took and ensure that we contribute towards nation building in whatever manner we can thank you very much and jai hind